The Savage 1907 pistols are interesting to say the least. The vast majority of early small caliber self-loaders were straight blowback, but this gun employs a sort of delayed blowback rotating barrel system which is quite interesting. However, what sold these guns was capacity. In an era where single stack pistols were standard, this gun employed a staggered double column single feed magazine that offered 10 rounds of 32 on tap or 9 rounds of 380, which was very impressive. Also impressively, the guns feature no screws at all, and even the grips snap firmly into place. The bluing even after 100 years looks fantastic on this example, and I must say that I think these guns look terrific. They also sold quite well, with over 200,000 made in just 12 years. But let's take a closer look at some of this gun's features. First, you'll notice that the striations on the rear of the slide to charge the pistol are quite big and pronounced. It makes racking the slide very easy and it also makes clearing malfunctions equally easy. Now it does have a magazine toe release, which I really don't like. Maybe it's that I'm used to either a traditional magazine release or a heel magazine release, but I suppose their thinking was since you had 10 rounds, it didn't matter much. You can also see here how the barrel rotates and delays the opening of the action just a little bit. Not a lot, but I suppose it was better than nothing. The gun also does have the appearance of a hammer on the back, but that's actually just a mechanism to cock the gun. The safety is also easy to deactivate and you can do it with your right thumb. It can also be used to retain the slide to the rear if you want to lock it open for cleaning or some other purpose. As mentioned, the magazines are staggered, double column, single feed, but they're not staggered as much as a Browning High Power or something like that, so people generally don't say this is an early double column single feed magazine for whatever reason. I'm not sure why. Loading it is just like a Browning High Power or a similar double column single feed magazine. And being as how this is a 380 model, it does hold nine rounds in the magazine, one in the chamber. So you still did have a total capacity of 10 rounds. And their advertising slogan of 10 shots quick was very suiting and sold a whole lot of guns, making the Savage Corporation a lot of money. As an interesting aside, they also made a couple of these in 45 ACP that competed against the 1911 in that pistol trial. But let's shoot it a little bit more. The trigger on this gun is not too bad, and the recoil is not snappy either, or at least not as snappy as other 380s that I've messed with that are comparably sized. However, I did have a malfunction here. I've shot this gun more than a lot of other guns in the collection of the same vintage, and it's very rare that this gun doesn't work as expected. Perhaps it was this type of ammunition that it didn't like, but I cleared it and then it got back ticking and worked just fine. Really, it's an accurate gun as well. I have no picks with this gun, and while it's heavier and larger than other 380s on the market today and probably wouldn't be a viable competitor, you certainly wouldn't be that outclassed if you had to use this in some sort of altercation today. Proxybit has a lot of upcoming firearm auctions this weekend, and if you'd like to own a Savage 1907, that might be a great place to look as well. Also, a special thank you to Ventura Munitions for helping us out with the ammunition in our videos. Without them, none of this would be possible, guys. Also, without your continued viewership and support, it wouldn't be possible either. So thank you very much for watching, and we hope to see you next time.